works this time as we kick off the stream. Lots of uh, lots of complications already at the beginning, but all good. Uh, it's it's like that way on purpose. Uh, I do want to give a big shout out to Shop Tagger. This this whole stream is sponsored by Shop Tagger because of them. Wow, hype train's already starting. Because of them, we're going to be uh, giving away an AMD 5600X here on the stream tonight. So there's no there's no weird hype stuff on top of all the other uh, on top of all the other giveaways we'll have uh, because of the Shop Tagger stuff. Um, we'll basically be giving at least at least a CPU away today, which is going to be. Um, which is going to be super awesome. Thank you very much for starting Hype Train. Um, I'm super excited about today and uh, what we're doing. It's going to be a great build as we kick off Friday. And then we have another stream tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We're doing the Valentine's build. So you look a little details on that right after the end of this stream. I'll go ahead and put up the, reach, the, the tweet for, wow, CK dropping those subs already. Things already getting bonkers. Uh, Jimmy D already kicking things off. Um, but we're going to be, I'll, sh I'll give you all the details for that starting at 11 o'clock tomorrow um, as we're basically uh, doing, uh, as we're basically uh, kicking everything off for Valentine's Day and building a 011 mini build uh, with a sponsorship from Lee and Lee and all those guys. So it should be super awesome. Um, and it should be, uh, it should be, should be a happen in time. Uh, let's go through and uh, just talk about what is happening today. Today we're building a $3,000 commission build. Um, this is for... A gentleman who's been waiting for a long time. I'm actually really excited about this because it's like a black and gold build, which is going to be super awesome. It's going to look super sleek. Grandma hates tech. Thank you very much. Is this going to be? Yeah, Grandma hates tech. Who saw that I uh, I was uh, I was showing a little plumber track crack on a older one. So I appreciate her uh, watching out for me there for the Canadian stuff. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a good stream. It's going to be a good build. It's going to be a lot of fun. 160 percent already. Let's talk about giveaways that are happening today. First and foremost, the first giveaway we're going to give away is a 5600X. Uh, you are going to want to pay attention when I go through the Shop Tagger portion of the stream. We're going to walk through Shop Tagger. If you want to get in on this giveaway, all you got to do is go to Shop Tagger, uh, download the app, put a couple things on your list because when we do this a giveaway, uh, we're going to be verifying that uh, you guys uh, basically have done that and that's all you have to do to be eligible to win uh, the 5600X that we're going to be doing. We also have giveaways for if we hit Hype Train twice, uh, level five hype train twice in the show. Uh, we're already uh, at level five hype train in the first one. We'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD, which would be good. If we get a second, uh, if we get 800 likes on the YouTube video, uh, we'll also give away another uh, 850, uh, sorry, another 250 gigabyte NVMe SSD. And then finally, the last part is, is that um, when we, uh, if we, uh, we have that down at the bottom, you'll see that $50 Newegg gift card. Right now, it's a $25 Newegg gift card. If we get to 50 subs, it becomes a $50 Newegg gift card. If we get to 100 subs, it becomes a $100 Newegg gift card. If we get to 150 subs, it becomes a $150 Newegg gift card. And then here in a second, uh, they're gonna basically show you all of the other tiers. It continues to get better and better the more subs we get, all the way up to 1,000 subs, which will give away a 3080. Now, we have broken 1,000 subs in a single stream what, I think three times now? So uh, even since December. So yes, there is an opportunity for us to give away a 3080, but there are all the tiers. Uh, the more the more that you guys give, the more that you hype up, the better the giveaways. And then no matter what, we're giving away that 5600X. So it should be super awesome. Uh, I do wanna give a big shout out to uh, KT231, CKCC, um, all of you who've already dropped uh, a ton of subs right here at the beginning. We just started, we're already there. So thank you very much for all of your support already. Uh, you guys are so incredible. Super Nar, we're dropping 10 uh, gifted subs right there. Um, and we have two minutes and 39 seconds still left. And we haven't even started the show yet, which is awesome. Um, is this like a BDSM? No, Edward. What's up, Ed? Dude, Ed. Ed's watching. No, it's just uh, we're clicking. Uh, we're clicking it. We're clicking it started. Everybody's just kind of getting the hype going already. We just, we haven't even, we haven't been crazy. But it's good to have Ed. Ed is the former... I don't know, boss man for Mixer. Uh, he's hanging out on Facebook right now. Uh, he was the one who uh, basically helped bring about the show of Power Builds, which kind of started my streaming career uh, building PCs. Um, so that's where, uh, that's what's going on there. So that's pretty awesome. It's good to see Ed uh, watching the show today. Uh, we got some pretty awesome, I owe Ed a spec. I keep forgetting about that. Hey, KT231, thank you for the five gifted subs. We're already at 55 subs. So that means no matter what we're giving away, not only we're giving a 5600X, we're also giving away at least a $50 new A gift card. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the hub, let's keep the hype going. There we go. Red Pyramid Head, another drop of subs, five gifted subs. We're at 787%. Guys, we're like in the first like five minutes of the show. 
what are the uh, what are the letters behind me? These are nano leaf. Uh, these are nano leaf panels. Uh, I will show you guys, Jimmy D. Don't worry, we'll walk through the shop tagger stuff in just a second. I'll show you how to basically get it, and so you're in to win uh, the 5600X. Uh, hey, some people. Hey, it looks like you got gifted. Congratulations, Fies. Uh, hey, Ruby, what do you call a deer with no eye? I don't know, Darren. You tell me. Thanks, Grandma. Grandma hates tech. Wants to make sure that we're keeping it legit here uh, today. One minute left, guys, and then we'll get started on the shop tagger stuff and and kick it all off. Uh, as we go to 341 people hanging out with us on uh, Twitch, 276 on YouTube, and 174 hanging out on twitch.tv slash newegg. Thank you very much for joining us. That takes us to what? What about almost a thousand people already? And we just started. Uh, you didn't win anything yet. And we will talk about the winner for the December. We're going to announce the winner for the December uh, sub only giveaway. Oh, that makes me completely forget, guys. I forgot. There's also the sub only giveaway for the month of February. Uh, the, the month of February, we're giving away a 5800X and a 3080. Uh, all you gotta do to enter with that, get in on that is, oh, Super Naro, dropping another five subs. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, all you gotta do to be entered by that is, if you're over at twitch.tv slash newegg or youtube.com slash robytech, pop on over to twitch.tv slash robytech, use your free Prime sub, and you could potentially walk away with the, with the most difficult parts of CPU and GPU uh, for your next build. And then on top of that, if you gift subs, that gets you extra entries. If you uh, subscribe tier two, tier three, that gets you a ton of extra entries. And then finally, uh, the last part is that if you, um, if, you, uh, if you subscribe for multiple months, that also gets you extra entries. So if you wanna get in on that, that we only have, what, a couple weeks left to still get on that. We're gonna announce the winner for the December one. Sorry, for the January one today, my bad. The January winner um, will announce in just a second after I go through the shop tagger stuff, and uh, you can see that these guys are all real winners who have all won and uh, have been here. So Gl Glitchy, thank you very much. Glitch 3D, thank you very much for that sub and all that stuff. I'm unboxing my Supreme X right now. Nice, congratulations, Ark the Cats, on winning that from the New Egg Shuffle. Uh, thank you very much, Shaolin, five months at tier one. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Um, today's stream is sponsored by Vikings War, free to play on PC. What, it is? I didn't know that. Is today that stream? I think it's tomorrow. Um, okay, so yeah, we're gonna be doing that a little bit later. I don't know why that stream elements thing is going on, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll sh that's supposed to be tomorrow. Um, okay, uh, is there an X570 package, motherboard in that package as well? Did I say there was, Blondie? Because if I said so, then yes. I don't. I thought it was at least the CPU and the MOBO, it might've been. Let's see that MOBO. Oh, we'll don't worry, we'll show the MOBO. Don't worry, guys. We'll show all that stuff going on as well. So it'll be super, going for that. Okay, so let's talk about, Let's talk about Shop Tiger guys, which is the guys who are sponsoring this, the ones who are giving away the 5600X today. I'm super stoked about this. We've talked about them once before. Um, so here's the deal. I like things that help me find hardware that is hard to get. And specifically things like GPUs, uh, Lee and Lee Uni 120 fans, uh, Lee and Lee Lee Galahads and stuff like that. And so uh, there are apps like Shop Tiger that allow you to collect things and then give you notifications for when things in stock. It's another one of my tools in my tool bag that have helped me get 3080s in the past. And so I got excited about checking this tool out. They use a lot of really great technology to make this happen. So today, they are sponsoring today's stream and at, at part of that, they're gonna be giving away uh, the 5600X. Um, I just wanna show you guys a little bit about it, um, walk you guys through it real quick. If you want to be eligible to get the 5600X, you do need to install ShopTagger onto your Windows, onto your Chrome. And then when we pick the winner of whoever the winner is, which we'll draw at the end of the show, uh, Blondie but Geeky, you'll have to si submit a screenshot of you with the ShopTagger app so we can verify that that is in and working. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about more of that right now, but let me walk you through how to use ShopTagger. So if you go to your Google Chrome web store, like this, which it'll pop up, we're at Google Chrome Web Store, and then you just go to home and you search S-H-O-P-T-A-G-R, Shop Tagger. There's your Shop Tagger, your shopping assistant, and then you just hit add to Chrome, and then you can go ahead and hit add extension. And then once that's gonna go in, from here, we're just gonna wait real quick, it's pretty quick. Luckily we have fast internets and interwebs. It's a pretty, it's actually a pretty sizable extension, and then it basically adds it up here and we go from there. So um, now once it's in, it's basically saying it's checking it, and then here in a second, you're gonna get a, a little tutorial on basically how it works. So it's gonna give you a little demo, which I think is really nice. The stuff that I really enjoy about this is really the add to list feature, um, but here we go. It, clicking on Amazon, 
We'll pop into Amazon, and then you'll see over here on the right-hand side, the shop tagger icon will pop up here. So it's welcoming, it's welcoming you to the demo. And then you can hear, see right here, it says, let's start, and you get one of these. You can actually move this up and down if you want to. But here, it's going, hey, here's a Scepter 30-inch curved monitor. I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my list. And then I've got it product saved. Now it's gonna load the shop tagger. Now this is the important thing. And now I'm gonna go, so you can see some of the lists that I already have. And you can see that they're, uh, they're pretty important stuff, minus this shampoo. That is not mine. That's from another demo. You can see the stuff that I have saved from Newegg is I can see things like Lee and Lee stripper, uh, strimmer, not strippers, Lee and Lee strimmer cables. You can see I've got Galahads. It tells me when they're low in stock. The thing that I really enjoy is this right here, which shows back in stock. Things like, hey, here's the MSI store. Um, this is where I check in the morning. And then you also get notifications as well for basically when things come into stock. So um, when a, like right now, Lee and Lee, these have been really hard to get. I actually ended up purchasing some of these this morning. They're out of stock again, but they're back in stock on February 16th. And so these are the SL120 fans. And you can see here that it's basically here. My uh, It's got my saved item and uh, it's ready to check out. This is from uh, when I was shopping for the, the Valentine stuff. You can move this up and down. You can see that right there. You can see that you can move it up and down so it doesn't have to block your buttons or anything like that. You still have that option um, as well. Um, so yeah, Amazon, the other thing too is that uh, because I was working with them, if you head to Newegg, you can send to Newegg. Uh, ShopTagger also works on Newegg. And the other thing that ShopTagger does, which I also enjoy and has actually saved me money, is it does save coupon codes. And unlike some of the other competitive, uh, other competitor ones, it saves a lot more. So I've actually saved money. So when you check out and you have something you actually want to do, you can apply coupon codes. It can like I have like 10 to 15 that it's done for President's Day uh, for New Egg. I actually saved a little bit of money on it from today, and you can basically check that out uh, from there. So I showed you guys kind of some of the lists, um, and then uh, the other thing that they also have is they do actually have a cashback feature. Um, it's not as useful necessarily for us. Um, there have been a couple things that I have used it on, specifically um, specifically Target, uh, and then I got some stuff for my wife from Lululemon. So there's some things where you can actually shop and you'll actually get rewards for basically shopping there as well. So it's got a bunch of different stuff that comes due to it, but the thing that I find the most useful, guys, and this is, this is the key thing, is it notifies you, and usually very, very, very quickly win things in stock. So I have bought 3080s, I have bought CPUs, and I have bought these fans, these hard to get fans using this app. So that's the rundown. The other thing too is they also have a mobile app, which you can do as well. I've used that um, and you can do it straight from here too. So if you wanna check that out, uh, just look up Shop Tagger um, on the App Store. And you can see I've, got, I've actually got it right here. And then it's got all the same stuff all the same items all ready to go, giving you all the same notifications. But for the case of winning today, you do need to install it on Chrome and actually have it installed. You need to at least put a couple items in your list. And then when we choose a winner tonight or who wins the 5600X, you need to send a me email with verification that you've used that in there. So anyway, that's the, that's the deal. Uh, you can see here, there's my list right there from ShopTagger and all the stuff that I've saved. Like I said, it's just hard to get, so. Um, but anyway, there, that's Shop Tagger. Uh, definitely worth, if you haven't used it before, it's another weapon that you can use in the, in the shopping, in the world of trying to shop and get uh, PC, hard to get PC parts, which is what I primarily use it for, as well as basically just uh, the same thing as like just getting deals on, uh, on stuff and finding coupon codes, which is the, the kind of the key things. And then there's, if you, depending on where you shop and the other things, you actually might find some options for cash back and stuff like that as well. So that is it. It is only, it is only Chrome right now. I don't think it's, I think it's only Chrome. I think it, uh, so it's only a Chrome extension. So anyway, that's what's going on. Hopefully that was that, like how, like I'm just curious, was that helpful? Because again, I try to find partnerships guys. A lot of times they're things that will, that will be useful for you. So I'd love to know um, if stuff like that, if, if that's helpful. So that's where we're going from there. Oh, good. So Soul Dog said he was able to download it for Microsoft Edge. So which it might looks like Microsoft and works on Chromium Edge too. Okay, there we go. So a couple of people have said that from there. You play Galaxian yet? No, I have not played Galaxian. I have. Uh, I did just get into a new game. Uh, gosh, Rise of the Phoenix. It's a new Ubisoft game, so I've been pretty happy for that as well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Check it out. If you want to win a 5600X, you, you got to anyway. We're gonna give away a CPU. That's all it's gonna take for you to basically get in on this and walk away with a very hard to get uh, CPU today. 
as well. So, yeah, Immortals Phoenix Reinic. Yeah, I've really enjoyed that game. Um, oh, it's on Mozilla as well. So people are seeing it. So just, you have to send a screenshot of your last love of save list. Yeah, that's all there really is to it. Thank you very much, little cheeks. I appreciate that you think I'm uh, I'm beautiful. Good, good. Okay, so that is it. Now it is time. Well, first let me get, wow, 132 subs. Jeez, guys. Well, let's uh, fix that. Um, wow, okay, all widgets. Uh, let's fix the sub goal. We're already past the $100 Nui gift card. We're on our way to the $150 Nui gift card. We have 136 subs, 132 subs. Oh, we need 150, 132. And today is 02, 15. Okay, that's where we go. There we go. We got that all squared away. Now, uh, I do want to announce the winner of the January sub only giveaway was SK1PPXX. SK1PPXX, you won an RTX 3080. CKCC, dropping more, okay, 153. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and end that goal. Uh, the next goal is 300. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the next goal is a 5600X giveaway. We're at one, we need 300, we're at 156. Okay, so starting that one right now. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, so congratulations to SK, let me say it one more time, I saved it. SK1PPXX on Twitch, you are the winner of a RTX 3080 for the month of January. So congratulations, uh, you are the winner. Um, I just announced it, Fred. Uh, SK1PP uh, was the winner. Uh, yeah, that N7 case is rad. Here, let me turn it on so you guys can see that. And then we're gonna start walking through parts here in a minute. Who is excited for today's build? I know some people are excited about that B550 Tai Chi. Who's excited for today's build? And who, who's excited for the giveaways today? I think there's gonna be a lot of stuff. That was for January, yeah. This guy, okay, good. We got some people who are pretty excited. Um, me, 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 okay, good. Well, why don't we start, why don't we start, Danny C, yes, the giveaways do include Canada. Uh, why don't we start with, uh, what was I gonna say? Why don't we start with a dad joke? That's what I was gonna say. We wanna start with a dad joke because that's where all the stuff happens on the dad joke. By the way, guys, I did want to let you guys know I did just reapply for Discord partnership. Um, so we just we were just about to crest a thousand, a ten thousand members on the Roby Tech Discord. Uh, we have that fitness channel, which I'm doing my ride tomorrow. So hopefully some folks can join me. I'll let you guys know which ride I signed up for. So if you are on Peloton, you want to come and join me and ride with me, I will let you guys know and you can ride along with me. Uh, and then just sharing your success. So there's the new fitness channel over on Discord um, if you want to check that stuff out. Um, and then on top of that, we have our dad jokes, we have our tech channel, we have our tech support channel, we have people who help you with build lists, all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna have a list, a link to that here in a uh, here in a, uh, a bit that you guys can basically join the Discord and be a part of our awesome, awesome community. Um, and then, oh, you know what? I should see, do we have timers? There it is. I will turn on the timer for shop tagger. Forgot to do that. There we go. So then the, the shop tagger thing, I'll remind people a couple times as that goes through um, for the shop tagger stuff. Uh, 502 hanging out on Twitch, 435 hanging out on YouTube, 144 over on Twitch at Newegg, and then two of our Facebook faithful. So over a thousand people now, that's awesome. Um, okay. Have you heard of the sick chemist? If you can't helium, you can't cure him, and then you'll have to bury him. <laughs> wow, Icy Sniper, that was good. That was good. Have you heard of the sick chemist? If you can't helium and you can't cure him, you'll have you'll probably have to bury him. That one was that one was good. Okay, uh, next one. This is from also from Icy Snipers. How many Microsoft and engineers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They just change the standard to darkness. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that, that is, uh, thank, thank you for that one, I see. Um, I'm glad I told it to you and you were able to put it up, uh, up on the, uh, the channel because uh, I taught you all the good dad jokes you ever know. Um, that is it. Okay, guys, let's talk about parts. Um, who is ready? Uh, just so you guys know, we'll be doing the drawing for the Shop Tagger and all that stuff, giveaways, 
um, at the end of the show. So we'll be basically doing that. This should not be, and I know I say this a lot, this should not be a, um, this should not be a terribly long build. Uh, we don't have to install fans. Uh, we're, we're using some pretty, uh, pretty uh, uh, standard stuff. I'm actually very, very familiar with the case, obviously, as it's my, uh, my case of the year. So this should be a pretty straightforward build. Um, given that we also have a build tomorrow at 11 o'clock, I wanted to make sure we had, this is still an incredible cool build, um, but I don't think this should be too bad. So we'll probably have you out here between 8.30 and 9 o'clock tonight, which is going to be awesome. Um, don't say it. Yeah, don't say it. People, I just jinxed myself. Dang it. I did. Uh, when people are asking about entering, we'll, we'll let you guys know all about that here later on. I've got my water because we're in healthy mode now. It's not that I, Vega, dropping another five Gs, dude. I got my healthy water ready for uh, working out and stuff like that. Um, okay, let's start with the CPU. Unlike the mistake I made yesterday, um, we are actually using the Ryzen 9 5900X. We, I know last time we were using the 5950X and I said 5900X and then we had to go back, but this is actually uh, the Ryzen 9 5900X is going into this build. Uh, so we're using the Ryzen 9 5900X. This is the uh, 12 core 24 thread uh, CPU. Now remember, we do have, like if you're uh, watching on any one of our channels, we're gonna have that stuff link out. You, can, you guys can check all these parts. We're working on, we're working on uh, having all of our, uh, having all of our, uh, like we're gonna start having flyouts on the channel and all that sort of stuff because our logo work is finally done. We also, I did wanna let you guys know as well, I forgot. Uh, don't forget, we're gonna be showing off our first merch. So the new Roby Tech logo and merch, we're gonna be showing the merch on Ju March 1st. The store, it will go live on the store. Unfortunately, on the 15th, it takes a little longer. That includes the PC mat. So those should go live on the 15th as well. So we'll have a limited amount of stuff that'll go live. We'll let you guys know all about that stuff. But March 15th, you're gonna to wanna to mark that on your calendar because if you've been waiting to get one of these, um, if you want to be waiting to get one of these uh, these build mats and all that sort of stuff, you're going to want to definitely uh, be there for that. Um, anyway, that has nothing to do with the CPU we're using. These are just a couple little additional things I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of. So that's our CPU. For our motherboard, um, apparently it was B550 Tai Chi week uh, on Roby Tech. Uh, we're using the ASU, the uh, ASRock or yeah, ASRock B550 Tai Chi. Uh, we use the Razer edition of this in uh, on uh, Wednesday for that Razer build. Um, we're using the non-Razer standard version of this uh, on uh, uh, today. Uh, this does not have the moving gears. If you just watched the latest episode of our news, uh, we this the Z590 is the one that actually has the moving gears, um, but this one does not. Still an absolutely beautiful board. Um, and you can see, I'll show you guys here, we'll go top down really quick, Vegas, man. Just going nuts with the drop down with, the, with the, the things today. You can see we're doing a black and gold build. And so you can see we've already got those gold accents kind of coming out here uh, with the Tai Chi already. So uh, should look super sweet. Uh, excited about this. It's going to be a great looking, uh, great looking uh, uh, companion uh, with our RAM, which let's go and grab our RAM now because nobody, everybody's excited when we use our RAM. Now, uh, this is not the RAM that he is getting. Uh, the RAM he is getting was supposed to show up today. It got delayed to Tuesday. So we're going to be using one of my kits, but it is the same color. And so uh, we're still using it. Get ready. Do me a favor real quick. Go ahead and put on some sunglasses because you're going to want to cover your eyes for the bling that is about to happen here. Ta -da! That's right. We're using the gold Trident Royal Z uh, RAM for this. So we're using the Trident. It's like, it's like, it's, it's so sexy and so beautiful. And so uh, we're, you're, you're basically, uh, oh, so Spide Soul got his, his, uh, his um, he got his wow stick. So yeah, we're using the Trident Royal Z. This is a 4,000 kit. The one that he's getting is 3,600. Um, it just was, we've had some issue with the Trident Z with the shipping. Um, we had another, uh, we've been waiting for one more for a client who I gave the wrong number of dims to. And then we, so they're, they're all, they've all been kind of delayed. But yeah, we're gonna be using this. It's gonna look really good with that super awesome gold uh, tai Chi case. Um, so yeah, there's our, uh, there is our uh, RAM right there. That should be super cool. Um, okay, for uh, storage and for cable extensions, because we need a lot of RGB, uh, we are using the Lee & Lee Streamer Plus uh, kit right here. So we're using Lee & Lee Streamer Plus. Uh, so this is, and we're also using their new three pin, uh, sorry, their triple eight pin uh, that just came out. 
About two months ago, if you were watching that Shop Tagger uh, commercial, you'll notice this is something that I'm always looking for. Uh, these are about 60 bucks. Uh, they sold it almost as fast. I ended up being able to pick up a couple of these, but these are for the new uh, 3080s. And then of course the Strimmer Plus, uh, which is the other Lee and Lee's. These do work in a pair together, which is great. So we're gonna be using these. And then we have for our storage, a single WD 500 gig NVMe drive. Reason we're only putting one in is he actually has another M.2 and an SSD he's gonna be bringing over from an old build. So we're only gonna be installing one so he can basically have an OS on it and he's basically good to go. So, uh, and it should be, uh, should be super rad. So going to cam link and going back to this, there we go. So that is our RAM and that is our storage for our CPU fans. For our, for RGB, we're gonna be using the Fantex uh, SK120s, uh, again, uh, given that we've got the SK140s already built into this, we're gonna be replacing the other three uh, fans that we're gonna be using with the AIO and stuff with SK120, so it'll all be Fantex in terms of RGB control, which is going to be cool. For our AIAIO, we're gonna be using, man, this is becoming one of my new favorites. I really like this one. This is the Glacier 1 240MP from Fantex. Very Fantex-centric build. Uh, Glacier, Glacier 1 240MP from Fantex. Really love um, A, super low profile. It comes with cable management for the hoses. And then the second thing too is honestly, this right here, this this little thing right here, uh, let's let's go chat, keep the hype tree. Yeah, you guys are 220, geez guys. CK, CKCC and Vegas. CKCC, 220 subs this week and 115 from Vegas, man. You guys, thank you very much for all of the subs. Um, yeah, but anyway, love this. We're gonna be replacing the fans with the, actually we may not replace the fans of this, I forgot. No, we are, yeah. We're gonna replace the fans with this with the SK120s. I forgot, the white one actually has RGB. This one does not. So that is gonna be our AIAIO for our PSU. PSU. We're gonna be using the EVGA 850G5. Um, I used to use a lot of the GAs, um, but thanks to Jacob over at EVGA, I recommended updating to these. Um, we wanna make sure there's more than enough power. The one thing that's interesting about the Strimmer is that the Strimmer actually runs off of two and splits to three. So we're gonna be using two individual power connectors off of this um, and then having that go to the three. So that's just something interesting about the Lee and Lee ones. We may have to do a flip as well because EVGA, which is the GP we're gonna be using, um, doesn't like, they always flip the, uh, the direction of their GPU um, power. So uh, something interesting there, but great, more than enough power, should be great enough for an 850 watt PSU. And then finally, the last bit of this whole thing is of course the Ultra, the EVGA FTW3 Ultra, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the greatest cards made. Um, I guess rumor is the Supreme is better, but these are like right, you know, all neck and neck with each other, the Supreme. The, um, from MSI, the Strix from ASUS, and then the FTW3 Ultra from EVGA. Uh, absolutely fantastic cards. Love the, uh, love the absolutely beautiful light bar that you get. And when we light this all up, which you guys will obviously see when, uh, when you see all the pictures and stuff like that, just absolutely love the way that this looks uh, from just a crisp standpoint. And then you get that nice gold color. So it should come out very, very attractive looking. Uh, when we're all said and done. So yeah, that is our that is our build for today. For today, should be good, should be good. I think that's all the parts I miss anything. I don't think so. I talked about fans, I talked about joy, I talked about happiness, I talked about the world. I talked about everything you care about. Um, so yeah, that's the good stuff. Uh, RGB strips, now we don't have any RGB strips. I, like all in all, like if you wanna melt your eyes, Sky for, uh, Skyrim Fan 03, uh, I could add some RGB strips to this, but uh, we don't know. Storage was a 500 gig uh, NVMe SSD August. Uh, that's what we did there. The other, and he's got his own NVMe and SSD is gonna be adding to this as well. So yeah. Justin Cox, that would that may not be a good trade. You kind of do need those. Man, Vegix, again, dropping five gifted subs, dude. Crazy. Uh, what are the 3080s? For, uh, when are the 3080s available for us to buy? So. Just to be super clear, I haven't bought a 3080 in uh, almost three and a half weeks um, because of the semiconductor, uh, because of the uh, ton of shortages, uh, there just hasn't been any in stock. Um, the latest was actually when uh, Best Buy just sold a series of 3080s, 3070s and 3060s, um, was the last time I've seen them be sold in a long time. So it's, it's, it's not even, I don't even think it's miners. I think honestly, a lot of it has to do 
with shortages um, because uh, not only are consoles and GPUs competing, but also auto manufacturers, which have a tendency to get the priorities for all of the cars that they make. And so it's actually made it really hard for people to produce cards, which is gonna be really hard. Last one, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Um, yeah, and then uh, if you if you watched my if you watched my uh, if you watched my uh, my uh, video uh, news video for this month, uh, which you could just basically check out uh, right here. Uh, April is um, the rumored 3080 Ti date, so there may be some of that stuff as they're shifting manufacturing from 3080 to 3080 Ti in preparation for that. And we've got the 3060 launching in what just over two weeks, so a lot of stuff kind of coming out there that could be all kind of colluding to keeping 3080s from being in stock. Uh, L, uh, what is it, AL3 -E -L XPX HX, just go to the, the uh, just go to the, um, just go to the Chrome store and shoot for, search for shop tagger. There it is right there, you can go from there. And then the show, there's a link there that people give as well. Uh, which is better, the 3080 or the 6800 XT? It really comes down to, the 6800 XT is actually technically better than a 3080, the thing that you have to ask is how much you care about uh, ray tracing. Uh, ray tracing, uh, specific games like uh, Control and and very more recently uh, Cyberpunk. Um, you know, there's a massive difference in terms of their ability. Things like uh, uh, using um, in, uh, DL in, uh, DLSS uh, 2.0 and things like that make a big difference in terms of how those games look. If you don't care as much, the 6800 XT is a great and in many ways better option. And AMD has continued to improve the performance on those cards with their driver and BIOS updates, which has been pretty neat. Uh, yeah, Vegas is a beast right now. Yeah, LA Rams, so yeah, somebody's talking about getting the 3080. Uh, I know a lot of people who've gotten theirs via the queue. I entered the queue for EVGA in October and I have yet to get a card. So I'm still waiting for my name to come up too. Uh, I, is the Intermax D, um, I, I don't know about PSU. I would never use an Intermax for an AIO. That is one thing. So we're going from there. Uh, okay, so it looks like we are good. I think we've, we've answered a couple questions. We've, uh, we've talked about Shop Tagger. Uh, we can now start building. Who's ready to build? Everybody get ready because we're going to build. Our, our black and gold Fantex P500 build is about to begin. Everybody's ready for, uh, everybody's ready for some fun and going from there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, winners, all that stuff won't be drawn until the end. Oh, man. Yeah, build time. There we go. People are getting excited. Yeah, raise your hand. Uh, Maximize27 says, I need a better PC. What do I do? Buy one. There's many of options. Um, so do, uh, do, do 23. If you want to find out about Shop Tiger, just check the beginning of my stream. You can go back and watch it there. I'm going from there. But it's basically a shopping app, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. It's time to get building. We start with... The most probably one of the best looking components in this build today, and that is our air B550 Tai Chi. We're gonna go to the top down and start uh, start building. 605 guys, we're in good shape. Oh, excited about this. The Azrock, I love how Azrock um, puts their boards together. Look at that. There's there it is right there, already out, ready to go. Oh, and there's our extra components. Put this right here and we'll kind of box it all up later. Okay, so let's do a quick little tour of the motherboard. Who is new to PC building? Who's like, this is their first time watching anything crazy like this and probably is asking yourself, Roby, where'd you do, oh, there he is. I was like, where's my remote? Right here. Okay, so let's walk through this. Who's new? Good. Okay, awesome. Awa, awa. I love that dog. I like. I don't know if you saw uh, Super Ginger. Uh, if you watched the remake, the remix of that, it was pretty funny. Can I get an awa, 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 awa? Pretty good. Okay. Um. Here we go. Uh, zooming in. Vegix again with the five gifted subs, dude. Uh, he is on fire, guys. Two hundred twenty-two. We're gonna. We we may be giving away a GPU today. We'll see how this goes. Okay. In the top left-hand corner, we've got two. 8 pin, eight pin EPS connectors. If you watched the Razer build, this is gonna look very similar. These are the same boards, except for this has got gears, which uh, gears. Um, so we got two 8 pin EPS connectors and a super fatty VRM. When you're talking about a board that's usually this expensive and coming in at $291, um, there is a reason this board is expensive. Super high quality VRM support. You can see things like heat pipes, 
Uh, VRM is super good for basically keeping phase power array to your CPU and keeping it stable at different clock speeds, etc. cetera. Um, so a lot of support for that in here. Uh, we've got two eight pin, which means you have support for high end overclocking. We're only gonna use the four pin, the uh, one single four pin, uh, sorry, single eight pin. We're not gonna be using uh, the uh, both of them. Um, but yeah, that, there's an option there if you wanted to for what's called LN cooling, or LN2 cooling, which is liquid nitrogen. And if you want to know more about that, you can watch the fine folks over at Gamers Nexus. Though I, I do understand Steve is actually out of ni liquid nitrogen right now. Uh, over here, we've actually got uh, two uh, fan headers. Uh, we've got, uh, we actually had an issue with this one. We plugged our AIO into this bottom one um, and it was actually broken in the last one. Um, so the top, the top one is supposed to be your C, the bottom one's supposed to be your CPU and the top one's supposed to be an AIO. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, these are fan headers. Right here, we've got a four pin, 12 volt non-addressable uh, header. Uh, this is where you're gonna plug in RGB. Not a lot of people use this, but uh, it's, it, they put it on these boards. Uh, then next to it is the more, more traditional five, uh, five volt, three pin um, addressable RGB, which is where most people will plug in RGB. That's where we'll be plugging it in today, either here or down at the bottom of the board. This right here is where you're gonna stick your RAM. Uh, your RAM is your memory uh, for your build. We've got 32 gigs going in today's build today. Uh, this is dual channel. This, this motherboard supports dual channel. I think it supports up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, but I don't. I, I meant to look that up beforehand. Uh, this is the channel A and this is channel B. Um, the, depending on the number of DIMMs, you have to place them in specific locations, usually uh, A2 and B2, um, but you need to look at your motherboard box if you wanna get them. Lisa's Christie, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Over here, this is your 24 pin ATX power. This power is the other three quarters of your motherboard. So that's what this is basically for. Uh, we've got USB 3.2, uh, sorry, USB 3 right here. Then we've got USB 3.2, which is uh, USB-C right here. We've got another USB 3, which is great. Um, so if you wanna do either in a 90 degree or you wanna do a straight up, you have both options or uh, in certain cases like the Lee and Lee 011 uh, dynamic, some of them support four. Um, so this motherboard actually has support up to four front, oh, four connector, two individual connectors for USB 3.0. Uh, we've got eight SATA connections as we're gonna plug things like hard drives, all that sort of stuff. We've got these awesome gears, which just look super fancy and make you happy. They have no other purpose other than they protect the B550 chipset that's underneath. This is where we start talking about what is the difference between like a $100 motherboard and a $300 motherboard are things like this. We've got a reset button, a power button, and then you've also got a digital display. This is like, hey, if you're plug in your, uh, you plug in and you have an issue, this will give you error codes, making it a lot easier to figure out why the heck won't my PC boot? And it's usually because you did something wrong. Over here, this is your front panel connector. Uh, this is where you're gonna plug in your power switch, your reset switch, and all that sort of stuff. This is a clear CMOS button, which is nice because you don't have to worry about finding the dang battery, which is probably underneath all of this, so which makes it a little easier for that. Uh, and then over here, you've got USB 2. Uh, you've got some more fan headers, of which I think this one has seven uh, fan headers. Uh, you've got your HD audio, and then you've got two more uh, RGB connectors. Uh, these are your M.2 slots, of which you've got three. Um, so we got one right here, and then the only, because this is B550, only this and this are PCIe Gen 4. So that's your M.2, and then your bottom, uh, your first by 16 are uh, PCIe Gen 4 cap capable. The rest of this stuff is all PCIe Gen 3. You got two additional by one slots, and then two additional uh, PCIe by eight. Um, for uh, for connecting, you know, things like audio cards, uh, capture cards, all that sort of stuff. So, and then the other thing too is we'll pop this out right now, but this also has a crap ton of I.O. Um, should you care, which we all do. Nobody can have enough I.O. Oh, we've already, oh, that's right. We took this out to take pictures of it. And then right here, you can see all that fantastic I.O. Um, you've got uh, you've got your BIOS flashback button, which is always super good, which means we don't have to plug it. We can use Ryzen. Like we don't need a older CPU to actually use this and flash it so it supports Ryzen 5000 series. Uh, you've got another clear CMOS button on the back and then you've got all of your other, uh, all your other support there. Saiku, thank you very much for the five gifted subs as well. There we go. So that is our motherboard. That is the tour. Who learned something? Who learned something from the tour? I'd love to, I'd love to know that people are like, oh, I didn't know any of that stuff, and now I feel super educated. Awesome, good, good, good. Who's having a good time? Because now we're gonna get into building, and now this is where the PC starts to come together. It starts going pretty quick from this point on. We're gonna go, we're gonna go crazy. Good. Now the gears are actually really awesome. This is a very attractive board. Uh, we have 615 hanging out on Twitch, 543 hanging out on YouTube, 136 
over on Twitch uh, for Newegg and three hanging out on Facebook, our Facebook faithful. <clears throat> yeah, I love, I love this board. Ugh. This is, wait a minute, this is, what am I doing? This is not, I do not want this one. This is not the right, this is not the right CPU. That would have been bad. I need this one. I just like started to take out the 5600X. I was like, why does this have a, why does this have a cooler in it? That would not do me any good. Here's what we need. We need this. Okay. Okay, so uh, when we're gonna install our CPU, or Erdnot, thank you very much for the subs. We're gonna install our CPU. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, take this to 90 degrees. We're gonna pop it up just like that. We're gonna pop this open. There we go. And then just like that, we're just gonna stick it in. Make sure it's in, wiggle it a little bit, pop it down. And there we go, our Ryzen 9 5900X is installed. Now let's grab our RAM and our M.2. Okay, so what we're gonna do is pop all this stuff open. We're gonna grab our RAM kits like this. Now, on the way the RAM kits work is there's a little slot in the PCB right here. It's gonna line that up. Unfortunately, this is super sharp. So just be careful. Ah, a bleeding click. Ah, so sharp. This RAM is so sharp. It's sharp and sharp. Look at that stuff. Okay, we're going like this as well. Ah, ow, click. I want to click, but this stuff hurts to put in. Same thing, doing that one more time. Ow, click, 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 click. Yeah, it's a bling bling PC for sure. Look at that. Look at how much. Look at how nice that RAM matches the um, the RAM matches the um, the gears. Ah, there we go. Whew. Ow! Thank gosh that's parts over. It hurts my hands. It hurts my hands. Yeah, there we go. So our RAM is installed. Look at that bling bling. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and open up our. With our Roby Tech knife, you guys ready? Boom! Wait, what did he say? He said something interesting. I've never seen that before. I'm curious. Somebody said something I've never seen before. Hold on. Where is my mouse? Okay, uh, you're supposed to push on the rubber part if you if it has a rubber. You push and remove, or do not. I don't know, but they should have made it rubber cover to push because that doesn't have a warning because it. Can it cut? Cause cut. Cause cuts. It's not really that. I, I always joke. It's not really that sharp, guys. Um, okay, uh, here we go. We're gonna install our M.2 drive now. Now we do need the fancy. We do need the fancy screwdriver that this motherboard comes with. It requires a fancy mother, a fancy screw driver. Look at this. You always know. You always know. You you've got a really nice. Can you yell click when you click into your, yes, I will. Last one there, I will. Uh, you always know you have a fancy motherboard when you have to use the pre-approved motherboard, the pre-approved motherboard uh, M. Uh, screwdriver. So I could use my iFixit kit, but then I have to search for the right head. And because we learned that from the other one. Okay, so we're just gonna unscrew this stuff. Hmm. These are not captive, I've learned. We're not gonna take these out. There we go. Pop that up. We're gonna go ahead and just real quick so you guys can see it. I'm gonna pop the thermal pad top cover off. Ah, uh, let go. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna pop this out. Okay, got that up. Here we go. Time to Time to, are you guys paying attention? Are you watching? Are you paying attention? I'm trying to show you stuff. I'm trying to show you stuff right now. This is what we're doing. Watch. <laughs> Just making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> I'm 
watching. Stop yelling at me. I'm not having a nervous break run. I'm just having a good time. I love doing this, guys. I love building PCs for you guys and all that stuff. Hey, Angel, thank you very much. Like the channel. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. $5, $5 super chat. Uh, and you guys have been super incredible today. And you're incredible all the time. I'm an angry teacher, that's right. Okay, so we're just gonna line these up now. There we go, cool. It's, wait, did Vega leave? Wait, he just got, whoa. Vega's not leaving, is he? Hey, Mike, thank you very much for the conversion. He was, he just dropped all those subs and then he's gonna leave? No. Well, thank you, Vi Vega. Yeah, we're, we're having fun. We're cutting loose. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to make that too tight. Thank you. How do I... Okay, here we go. We're going to get this in. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, it's a golden build, Conduct. Oh, uh, well, thank you, CKCC, for all your support as well. You guys have both been super incredible. So I appreciate CK and uh, Vegas for uh, being such uh, big droppers. We'll see you next week, I'm assuming, Vegas and uh, CK, because I appreciate you guys. And uh, you guys are a huge support. Okay, we're going to put this away because we have everything else. <laughs> Just join the stream. Oh, man, that's funny. Okay. We'll see you later, man. Thank you very much, CK, for that. Okay, so we have... I think we're going to... What we're going to do real quick, the motherboard is actually built and ready to go. This motherboard is ready to go. We're going to put it off to the side here. Uh, we're going to go to Cam Link. But before we get too far, you know what you guys need. You need a dad joke. You need a dad joke. Okay. What does a proud computer call his son? What does a proud computer call his son? A microchip off the old block. Okay, don't throw fruit at me. Don't don't throw fruit at me. Jeez, guys, wow. That one I blame IC Sniper for. He was the one who did that one. He did a lot of good ones, but uh, I think that one was a little cheesy. That hurt. <laughs> awa, awa. Okay, um, let's go ahead and grab our uh, AIO. And uh, let's just see. I forgot how to how to mount this. I'm I'm wondering. I forgot. I think we actually. I think the mounting's pretty straightforward on this. Uh, should I wait for it? It's again. It's based on budget, Derek's. I think you're gonna have a better chance of getting a 3060 than a 3060 Ti, just because they'll have a nice amount of stock at the beginning. Um, uh, but it's up to you. Incoming cabbage. Wow. This just went up there. Uh, nice ALC. He likes that. I like the way I like that is I came for the build videos. I stayed for the dad jokes. Ugh. Hey guys, I just want you to know, I want you to know, everybody says, I want you to know that Fantex says, thank you for choosing Fantex. You're welcome, Fantex. You're welcome, Fantex. You're welcome. You're welcome, Fantex. Okay, there we go. We got that good to go. Everybody's excited. We're going to open this up. There's our instru instructions. This is that super cool, um, this is that front panel that you need for it, which is pretty rad. Here is all of the connectivity. And then we've got our, like, I think these are fan extensions and fans, which we won't need. So we'll take these out. I'm actually going to save these because they're the black and white kind, which I actually really enjoy. Okay, so I think I have everything out I need for now. Put this over here on the shelf for use a little bit later. Okay. Grabbing our top down here real quick. We're just gonna see what we need out of this for this stuff. Okay, so this is all we need. Okay, cool. So this is, so when I see, these are very specific connections. When you see these, you know what you, like, it's like, this is like a trigger for my memory. 
like, oh, okay, I know how to hook up this AIO. So that's all I was looking for was that, because it tells me, am I gonna have to use a back plate or anything like that? You know, it's a really just easy thing. And then, and also it's nice that this comes with, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this thermal paste, um, but it does come with it. So you have the option there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna bring this in. We're gonna get it installed with the wow stick. The wow stick. Look out, look out for the, look out for the, look out for the wow stick. It's uh, the wow, the wow stick is it's coming to get you. Watch out for the wow stick. Oh, I'm, hold on, I'm gonna screw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw on this, the light, there we go. Go over this side, there we go. Okay, that's in, right there, okay. Other side. Yeah, I fixed the camera. We're good. There we go. <laughs> we fixed the camera. <laughs> okay, going back to the top down. <laughs> okay, getting our getting our stuff installed here. Wow stick. Ooh. The special effects on this show are incredible. Uh, Eric Rosa on YouTube is asking, do you sell the builds? Actually, most of the builds that I do are commission builds. Um, so these builds are prepaid for from customers um, and then uh, built on stream. So in a way, yes, is how I do it. There needs to be a segment on every show where it's like creepy Roby. Uh, every show is, I'm not high, John Monkey. Wow. Not high, I'm just having a good time. You guys, if I make you smile, if I make you laugh, then it was worth it. If I didn't, well, I'm sorry, I tried. I can't be perfect. Roby wanted to be the Time Lord. That's right, I'm high on life. Thank you. I'm high on life. Yeah, we're getting our, we're getting our, our brackets installed here. Then we're gonna install our, where there's not a whole lot we have to do for prepping our case, which is nice. Okay, there we go. And then now our, our basically at this point in time, our awesome uh, MOBO is ready for, um, is ready for the, the, uh, be put in the case. Okay, here we go, Let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, here we go. Now let's go to cam link. Get our case here. Urgh, urgh. Working out so hard. Urgh. Okay, so uh, stripping the case. Uh, some easy things that we're gonna do here for stripping the case. We'll go to the side view real quick. Uh, a couple things we're gonna do. First thing in the back, there's two screw. We're gonna just take these off. They're captive, so we're pretty easy. We'll take that out. Uh, and then we already have like in here, this is like this had our um, box inside of it. Uh, every Fantex box comes with this right here. So just so you know, this comes with something that looks just like this. This is the accessories for the Fantex P500. So we got those out. They have like your, well, actually, why don't we just take out what I need out of this. So it's got instructions, but the most important thing is this. And that is all your screws that you need for the build. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got our screws out. Now what we're gonna do, now we've got that, let's go back to our front view. And then we're gonna take the front of this off. The way that works, you just basically pull it out, just like that. Don't drop anything on there. It's gonna come to about a little bit past 90 degrees, you're just gonna be able to pull the front right off. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is now in. Last part of stripping the case is in the front. Just gonna pull from the bottom. There you go. Now you have a stripped, and that's a PG-13 stripped case. Stripped. Now if you want to, you can also uh, bless it with a lightsaber. That also helps every once in a while. 
You know what I mean? Just give it a couple taps. Uh, if you want it to be like more force powered, stuff like that, that also is a big, big help. So blessing with the lightsaber is also really cool and critical to uh, your PC building. Um, you can get all that stuff. So that's, that's, really, that's, really, that's really critical as well. So if you want to get one of those, it always helps your PC building. <clears throat> yeah, I've knighted the case. Okay, so the, the, basically the case is ready. Last thing, I'm just going to take out this dust filter and be good there. I built my first one in September. Thought it was a little tricky for me doing the RAM and CPU, watching your vids and streams. Oh man, that's awesome. I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, what Fantex case is this? This is the Fantex P500A. This is probably their, one of their best cases in terms of value. Um, I know the P600S is like something that's a little bit more uh, blingy, but uh, in terms of, of value and then just pure airflow, this case is pretty dang awesome. Oh. Uh... Okay, we're gonna have to reset our our desks real quick. The desk has been having issues. It's been having power issues. So we're gonna have to figure out what's going on with the desk. It's been pretty wacky. So we just have to reset them every once in a while. Ugh. Okay. Come on, go down. No, the desk isn't doing its thing. Okay, well, we'll have to work from this height. Okay. Usually move the desk up and down a lot, but we're stuck at this height. Okay, uh, we're gonna pop this in just like so. And now what we need is, zoom in a little, there we go. Now what we need is, oh snap, wow, that's crazy. Hey, so uh, Brian, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, our creative director, Brian, just sent um, some pretty cool stuff. I want to show, this is pretty rad. Uh, I'm going to say, you guys, I'm sorry, I got I to gotta show you this. This is pretty awesome. Can you pop those on, I'm going to say, can you pop these on OneDrive? I'm going to show you guys some pretty stuff. These are fun, these are awesome in the thumb thumb directory if i can show them on stream okay we'll get those we'll get these on here in a second um let's go ahead and pop in our mobo screws okay there we go make sure this is in all the way up there we go. Getting our Mobo screws in. There we go. Another one up here. There it is. The wow stick is saving the day. Boom. Boom. And going to get these other ones. Three more screws. Three more screws. Two more screws. There we go. Okay, screws are all in. Motherboard is ready. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our AIO together. Pretty painless. I'm gonna see if he put those up on the on the video because I think that'd be funny. They're awesome. It is all awesome. So yeah, nailed it. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna show you guys some pretty cool images here real quick. Hold on. Oh, these are pretty neat. 
when they're up there. They're not up there yet. Okay, let's build our AIO while we wait. Oh, bam. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our fans and our AIAIO, just like this. Zoom out a bit. There we go. Okay, looks like I need one more fan. I'll be right back. Didn't know I was down a fan. I wish I had a 140. No, a bit more than three. Okay. Okay, we're gonna grab one more fan, which we'll need for putting in the rear of the case here pretty soon. Okay, here we go. Let's get our AIO part out. And I love how low profile this AIO is. It's like very low profile. Like in terms of just thickness, it's very, very thin. So we're gonna be putting it in like this. So want the fans like this. Okay, there we go. Okay, fans are in the front, just like that. Okay, now we just need our screws. Hey, Wolkie Biscuit, thank you very much for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Okay, we're gonna grab our... There's all our screws there. Can they give me one, two, three, four... Use these for the fans. Okay. What I'm gonna do now... Get the, do each corner first, basically. Reason I do each corner is it just makes it a whole lot easier than you use things like the wow stick because you, you know that you're in good shape at that point in time, whoops. There we go. There we go. One more. And now we can take our little well stick. Okay, last screws. That is awesome. He's teasing me. He's sending me all this cool stuff. It's all super cool. <clears throat> so you guys know, waiting to see if they show up down here. I haven't shown up yet. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. That is ready. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it mounted inside of our case, which is easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're gonna go to our side view. There you guys can see that, there we go. I might move it a little bit more over. See a little bit more. 
take this real quick. My space is out of control. My space is out of control. Easy fix though. We're just gonna quickly kind of the thing is is like if you let your space get too out of control, then you'll end up finding things that you'll you'll end up misplacing things and losing things. And so it's just easier to just go clean as you go, you know? It's just all part of the process of building is taking care of your space just like you would take care of your children. Unless you don't take good care of your children, then don't do it. Do whatever you take good care of. I'll take hit hot cocoa. I've always thought about doing that. Wasn't there, there used to be, I don't know if they still do it anymore. Didn't they used to have like a place that would like deliver sweets? Like you could get like sweet deliveries while you were, uh, while you were. Um... You guys remember that? Like, you get, like people could deliver sweets while you're streaming, sweet treat or something like that. I'm not out of control. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our, oh. Now remember the one thing I always tell you and I forgot to do it, so don't, don't, don't do what I did and forget. Okay, we're gonna go our top down real quick and we're gonna do a little bit of cable management here at the beginning. And the main reason we do this is just to make it a little easier to thread the cables. Just like so. There we go. Just like that. We want to make sure they're nice and taut. And we're going to do another one a little further up. There we go. Okay, it makes it a little easier to do, do some uh, threading when we put it in. Okay, now we can go to side camera and do this. And because this, this case just has so much blooming room, it makes it really easy just to do the work you have to do here. I just love, I really do love how easy it is to just build PCs in this case. It is, it is just very, very easy. Okay, pop that up. And what we're gonna do is just do this, find our holes. Throw a couple screws in some corners. Really, really quickly. Really quickly, throw some screws in some holes. I said really quickly, I really did not mean, apparently not very quickly. Let's grab our bigger magnetic screwdriver here. There we go. Okay, now we have it quickly-ish. Okay, we're just gonna get these in like Flynn. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I always top mounted now. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our one little cable here. And we'll do that when we install. That's got, that's, there's so much room on the top of this case that I don't need to do that. So we're good there. Okay, so we're just gonna finish quickly. Run in the other screws. Okay, now that that's in, we grab the wow stick. To make short work of these additional screws, Ruby. Boom. There we go. Whoopsie. And not go. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's in. One more. And then we have all of our screws in. You've been massively screwed. Wait, that doesn't sound right. No, you haven't been. You're entertainment. No, wait. 
that's not what I meant to say. Whoopsie. <laughs> I was just playing. Yeah, they are all awesome. Okay, let's get this down in a gentle manner. Like a gentle, like a gentle giant, I shall lay you down. You guys ready for gentle giant laying down? Here we go, gentle giant laying down. This build is gonna look ridiculous. Look at that, looking good already. Okay, so there is it laying down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug that right there, like a so. Set that down. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our brackets that we need. Okay, you guys, here we go. We're gonna have a little, we're gonna do a little distraction. A little distraction. Okay, here you go. Little, little fun distraction for you. Check these out. I think we've, we've, you guys have seen, we've been, we've been working with our new logos. And so we just got these, uh, we just got these in. Check these out. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Look at these. These are our new, like we're just playing with our new logo stuff just to kind of show these off. That's that's good that's good dreams right there when you have that on the when you have that on the side of a building. <laughs> so yeah, I thought you guys, I thought those would be cool. Yeah, it's like classy, look clean, all that sort of stuff. I like that one the best. That's like by far my favorite right there. So yeah, I thought those would be I thought those would be cool. I thought you guys would like I thought you guys would like those. I thought those are neat. I don't know if you guys, the other thing too is, uh, here is, um, here on the main scene, we also have, um, where did we put it? I thought it was in, well, it might be in wide. Let me see what he, uh, we also have, uh, that's, this, this is all part of the Robitech 2.0 stuff that we have been doing. Um, okay. We've also been, we've done this one here too. Where did it go? Oh, here, is this it? No, oh, that's that one. Where did it go? Yeah, here, I think, is it this one? Yeah, here you go. Yeah, did you guys see this and remember this one? This is all the stuff that we've been, this has been all the stuff that we've been working on for uh, the logo. So yeah. Anyway guys, just a little, little distraction there as we finish our build. Just thought that'd be fun. Go back to our top down and get some, get some building done. I've been enjoying this, like sharing it as we've been going, we've been, uh, we've been working through stuff. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop this off. Pop this off. We're gonna put this on. I don't want this. There we go. Okay, and then that goes right there. Oh, there's Brian. Oh, so Brian's in the chat. We were just showing it off, Brian. 
So Brian is in our YouTube channel. Uh, so Brian's in our YouTube channel. Brian's the creative director for Roby Tech. He's the one who was responsible for all of that logo work, including the design behind us and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to give him a, a, a shout out, he's in YouTube under Brian Combs. Uh, he's done all of that work. So he's part of the Roby Tech team. He's actually one of the YouTube founders with me. Um, so yeah. We already changed the bracket. I, I just did. The old bracket's right here. Yeah, so he was showing off those, those built, like doing those some logo, so we can do, what is it called, word mark or something like that, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he's done a really good job. Okay, so we're just tightening this down now, making sure it's finger tight. Oh, we are, and there we go. Our, our AIO is now in. Now we've got these cool things, which are neat. They come with just Fantex AIOs. Which are little, they're little, they help keep the tubes controlled here. I like them. I'm only gonna stick a couple on here. There we go. It just keeps it like, keeps it a nice, little bit cleaner look and keeps them a little bit more spaced out. So, there we go. Okay, there is that. And then what we do is we take our final part, which is our little our little device here because they're going to go to like a 90 degree a little bit you can't go quite all the way low and then we've got our additional kind of rgb connectors here this is going to go get run but this there you go now your your thing is installed okay cool now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly run this and this north A couple zip ties. Let me reserve doing this. We just want this to be nice and straight. We don't want it to be too tight at the beginning. We're just going to keep it a little bit loose at the beginning. Main reason being is that I want to make sure that this gets zip tied. Goes at a 90 degree with this other part. Down here. And you want this to be like as low to down here as possible. There you go, and then that goes right there, and then now you have like a solid straight line there for keeping it clean. Cleanliness is important. There we go. Nice clean build. And now you have a nice single cable going all the way up. Rotate these around. You can't see the bottoms. Put that down further. There you go. Now you have a nice clean looking, looking, looking case. And then we'll pull the rest of this through. Go to our side view. Actually, it'll go to cam link actually. And 
then what we're gonna do is pull this also through, and we'll wire it all together and it'll look great. And then there's a little, actually because of, because of how the fans and stuff we're using, it gets really easy to cable manage Fantex builds because they all just, they all just daisy chain together. So we're gonna open up one more can here of, we're gonna clear out this stuff. This is all the extra stuff for the Fantex. AIO. And our AIO is now officially hooked up. And we are about halfway through the build at this point, which is great. Now, I want to remind people, we'll do a quick reminder. If you want to get in on that 5600X giveaway, you do need to download Shop Tagger. We're going to have a link for that. I'll walk you guys through all the giveaways in just a few moments. Uh, once we just turn this over and get our last little bit kind of hooked up. But don't forget that giveaway is still happening. So I'm gonna get this fan in and then I'll walk you guys through uh, the shop tagger stuff. Just so you guys know what's happening there. If you wanna get in on that 5600X giveaway. I'm gonna grab one fan from this box. Okay, so here's our last fan that we need here. We're gonna put these in the back. So um, just as an FYI guys, so people know what's going on. Uh, this is for all, how many people we have hanging out right now? I guess you should check that because it seems like we probably have a light. Ooh, sign me out, that was weird. Okay, so we have, being wacky. But anyway, uh, anyway, welcome to Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show. Um, a uh, Roby Tech is a show uh, based on uh, PC building, tech news, tech deals, and all that sort of stuff. Our show is usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at five thirty p.m. Um, and uh, you know, it's it's. Uh, we also have every once in a while, like this week on Saturday tomorrow, we have a special show at eleven o'clock. Uh, we're going to be doing our Valentine's Day build. Um, which you're gonna wanna stick around for uh, tomorrow because it's gonna be super, super awesome. Um, for those of you who uh, don't know, uh, for those of you who don't know, we have three giveaways that happen during the show. Uh, the first one has to do with the uh, with the level five hype train, which will probably be the second one will happen in about 40 minutes. Uh, level five, if we get two of those, we give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. Uh, we also give away, if we get 800 likes on YouTube, which I don't know how many, how many, yeah, 11 PSTS. Uh, somebody's asking, is it 11 a.m. PST? Yes. Um, I don't know. Do we know, um, Blondie, how many likes we have on YouTube? But if we get to 800 likes on YouTube, uh, we will get another, we'll give away another 250, 250, uh, 250 gig NVMe SSD. Oh, 563 likes right now. Uh, and then finally, the last one is, is that we have that one down there. Uh, right now, we're giving away $150 new gift card. If we get to two, 300 subs, uh, that becomes a um, that becomes a three uh, fifty six hundred X that we'll give away. If we get to uh, four hundred fifty subs, that becomes a fifty eight hundred X. If we get to and then you can see there it is right there. Um, if you get to uh, three uh, uh, six hundred subs, it becomes a fifty nine hundred X. Seven hundred subs a thirty sixty Ti. Eight hundred subs a thirty seventy, and a thousand subs a thirty eighty, which we have given away a thirty eighty uh, multiple times here on the show. Lastly, um, we also have the February. Uh, sub only giveaway, uh, which we're giving away a 5800X, I believe an X570, I might've said X570, I think it's just a 5800X and a 3080, but I will confirm 
uh, we're going to be giving that away. So the two hardest parts to get a hold of, we'll be giving that away. That'll go to one lucky sub. If you're over at twitch.tv slash newegg or youtube.com slash robytech, uh, just pop it over to twitch.tv slash robytech. Drop your free Amazon Prime sub. You might walk away with a GPU and a CPU. Now, if you want to get extra entries for that, you can just uh, you can do gifted subs, uh, which gets you extra entries. You can subscribe to tier two, tier three. That gets you the most in terms of extra entries. And then finally, the last one is just subscribing for multiple months. That also gets you extra entries. And then you're entered to win all of our sub-only giveaways, which happened months and months past. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on now. There's 718 people on Twitch right now, 676 on YouTube, and 139 over at twitch.tv slash newing. If you want to know more, more about like our rules and all that sort of stuff, head on over to our Discord channel. All the rules are there on Discord. Um, they give you all of the, uh, the 411 and all the legal bits for that. And then finally, we have the 5600X we're giving away here on the show tonight, no matter what. You just got to download ShopTagger, put in a list. Uh, if you want to go back and watch the first like 10 minutes, you can give it a, you can give it a go and find out more about it. Uh, we're going to have links to that stuff showing up there. But in order to pull to do that, you have you have to have loaded installed shop tagger and you will have to have put some things on the list. So that is also something that's happening. We'll be drawing that at the end. So lots of giveaways today should be a lot of fun. Thank you very much for all the subs, guys. Um, and uh, we'll continue to go and move forward from here because we're going to finish our build. Hopefully that that caught you guys up. I'm, I'm sure there was a couple people who were like, what's happening? Well, now you know. Now you know what's happening. Just because I have, okay, there we go. And I'm just prepping this rear fan right now. Okay, 300 subs, guys. We've officially unlocked, we've officially unlocked the 5600X. So now we're giving away two 5600Xs, but I'm gonna go to the next giveaway tier, which will be the 5800X. A giveaway cloud bot where are you all oh, widgets ending this goal we need 450 we're at 300 02 there we go next goal is up guys we can do it i'd love to see another thousand sub day I love those. You guys are you guys are so awesome to me, and I it blows me away. Okay, here we go. Throwing our little dampeners on. These little stickers. I like sticker time. It's craft time here on Roby Tech. Right now we're doing some crafts, some arts and crafts. We're putting on stickers. Hey, you're welcome, John. Appreciate the uh, thank you. And Roby Tech, oh, thank you very much for the uh, M. Coven 420 Blazing B Style. Thank you for the six months, buddy. Welcome. And then Quill 499, subscribe with, with uh, Prime. Appreciate that as well. Trying to pay more attention. I know people really love it when uh, Trey's here and reading chat. We're looking to see if we can find somebody who maybe can come in. Uh, we can do a couple days of that stuff because I know people love it when I interact with chat. We're also going to be bringing game streams back. That's also happening. Technically, tomorrow would have been one. But we're going to do a build instead because it's Valentine's Day and you got to do a Valentine's Day build. You know, I kind of feel bad about the Valentine's Day build and I'm pretty sure that Cole's going to beat me with her cane um, because it was supposed to be an all pink build and it turned into something completely different. So I feel bad about that. But it's going to be awesome. It's going to be very cool, but it's it has a lot of pink in it but this actually has zero pink components. Um, so I just did, yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. So sorry about that, guys. I uh, totally uh, went and Roby teched the crap out of it, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. Mobo screw is missing. No, it's not. That one that's down there is optional and that, and I don't have the standoff for it. So no, that's not a missing Mobo screw. It's an optional one. If you want to basically put additional support in the PCI, uh, cost of PCIe bridge, but that is not, I don't, you don't have to install that one. Freak me out there for a minute, dude. But good call, good call. I can see why you'd think that was missed. Whoa. That is not a standard ATX placement for a screw, just so you know. Okay, using wow stick wow stick has installed
first installing our, our rear fan. I'm gonna go to the side view so you can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Sorry about that. You guys had no idea. You were confused. You were confuzzled. Roby, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. I'm installing a rear fan. Rear RGB fan. But don't worry. Don't worry. It's installed now. The fan is installed. You know what's happening. Chillax. Drinking some water. I'm cool now. I'm cool. Stop. <clears throat> okay. Cam link. Okay. There we go. So we got all that stuff done. Oh, man. You missed the garbage. Okay, let's go ahead and do our little bit of... There's not going to be a ton of cable management here. I'm um, Just main reason being is that the one thing that's really nice about these particular fans is they all just kind of daisy chain together. So it makes it really easy to do cable management. Okay, so we're going to take this. And the first thing you want to do is you want to find the one that's over here that's un-daisy chained. That's where we're going to start. Somewhere down here is a loose and available plug for us to plug into. And the question is, where did they give it to me? Okay. Because we need to find it, because that's what our other fans plug into. Go ahead and undo all these. Okay, now, oh, and I do need, oh, that's what I remembered I needed. Ugh. These are fan splitters. We got a fan, oh no, this is a fan, it's just a fan extension. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I think I have a fan, oh, you know what I do have? Oh, yes, I do. Let me use this. Ugh. Oh, I bet you it doesn't have a... Oh, that's unfortunate. Never mind. I can't use that. I was going to, but I can't. I think I need a... I was hoping I may, I may have one. I don't think I do, actually. This is not one. another extension I'm looking for a potential fan hub I do have enough fan things for this right like I'm not overly worried about it but I was trying to I like using fan extensions it makes it a little easier oh, there's some more that is a fan Hub, but for three. Does this I'm curious? You need an actual, an actual fan from the thing. I don't know if I have one of those. There we go, I found one, yay. That's what I was looking for. I found a fan hub, yay. Okay, we've got a, sorry, fan splitter. Okay, cool. Okay, so now let us grab our, we need to find, there it is right there. Okay, so this is key to our success right here. and it is up to the top like I expected it to be. Okay, so this is what all of our stuff starts to plug into. So what we need is one of these to plug in here. Okay, so we'll start with this one. There you go. Now, our stuff is starting to daisy chain. Now we need the other RGB components, which there's the other one right there. Here's that one, that's our AIO. Now daisy chained. Should be one more, here it is. 
Okay, this is gonna daisy chain. That's our other fan. And then finally, right here is our, okay, so now all of our stuff is daisy chained. Okay, cool. Now we have this bad boy right here, which is like a crazy four to one fan hub. Look at this, like this thing, like, look at, look at how, like this, like will, re like it will do like, look at that. You got to be fans that'll support. That's a lot of fans. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we just need, and this will plug up it here, we'll find a spot for it. There's that one. And then there's this one. And then we need, we have three more. All of our fans are all gonna be hooked onto one single spot. Just gotta find them all. Okay, there's one. There's two. I need one more fan connection. There it is. It's twisted in here. That's RGB. Looking for my other fan. This is always the fun part. You're like trying to find all of this stuff, right? Oh, that's power. There it is. Okay, there's all our fans. Okay. There's that fan. And we're gonna keep going down. There's that fan. Now the good thing is, it could be a good or a bad thing, it's up to you. You can run them off of single fan curve if you wanted to. The one thing that's kind of hard is like, if you have potential potential heating issues, which you shouldn't, which shouldn't be a problem for this gentleman, but if you had potential heating issues um, and you wanted to separate them on a curve, then something like this, you could separate them into two different ones. I'm gonna find where a fan header is. There's one in the center right here, okay. We're gonna take this fan header, and this is gonna go right here, right there. Okay, now let's run all of our other front panels, and then we'll start the cable management process. Okay, there's that. Okay, now for front panels. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and do the bendy bendy on this one. Means we're gonna run this up here too. We're gonna run our USB-C, no, that's HD audio, so that's gonna go down there. We're gonna run our RGB, goes right here. We're gonna take our USB-C here. Goes right here. I wish there was a version of the Fantex P500A that included a, that included a, um, a fan hub. That would be like ideal. Okay, so everything there, everything's hooked up. We just gotta turn it over and finish hooking up our stuff on the front. But at this point in time, we're, the front panels are all hooked up and then we can just cable manage it real quick. Stay together. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here. This is our fan hub that we've got. There you go, there's our fan hub. It's just a long cabled fan hub. Then we're gonna take our USB-C Put that right there. Then we're take our USB three. Put that right there. Okay, so there's all those fans. There's all that stuff. Next thing down here, we're gonna take our power switch. Goes right here. I'll zoom in and show you all this stuff. Uh, this is our RGB. The thing where we just got to hit it right. There we go, RGB.
Yeah, I'm going to take this. Just removing that, moving the, the label way down. Okay. Now I can. Don't want any ugly labels. There we go. And then finally, HD audio. Okay. Let's zoom in and show you guys all the stuff I just hooked up. I didn't hook that up though. Okay. okay here we go. Here's what we hooked up so you guys can see a little bit better. So right here, we've got USB 3, USB-C. We've got fan hub. This is like basically all of our fans are all plugged into a single location. Then we've got our... This thing as well as I'd like. Uh, then we've got a front panel connection right here in the front. That's our power switch. Then we've got RG, uh, RGB our addressable RGB, and then next to that is HD audio. So that's all the cables that we have. And then officially we can do this because everything's plugged in. Now we're just gonna turn it over and cable manage real quick. And then once the cable management's done, we throw in our, oh, we have, we'll do our streamer cables and get the, the well, actually let's, let's grab those now. It's gonna be easier to do those with, we have all this stuff, so. So these are our streamer light up cables. Okay, these are our streamer light up cables. That's gonna be really popped out like that, but Not a whole lot I can do. I might be able to. I think what we should do is hold on. Push this like this. There we go. There's our streamers. Unfortunately, I should get it a little bit closer, closed, but it's going to leave this kind of open here. But luckily, there'll be a black thing there, so it won't be as noticeable. Oops. Okay, let's do that one more time. I'm with the cable all the way. Okay, there we go. Streamer's in. That's That takes care of that. And then now we'll have that all pretty and showing its thing. So then once we get the ever, so now we can flip this over, cable manage it, because the other streamers are gonna go right through here, which is easy. And then we'll figure out how that's gonna get hooked up here in a minute. Ugh. But let us work on cable management now, yay. Fun times. I flipped her. Get a bunch of these out in preparation for our our conquering of this nightmare, this global. This global case situation here. Okay, here we go. This is the fun part as we slowly get things under control here. Oh, 
Okay. Now, let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go, so you can see everything. Bit of a mess right now, but it's all good. We'll get it figured out here. Well, that may be too high. We'll have to figure that out. It's like I have a love-hate relationship with these. What is this? That is a fan thing. Why is it not plugged into anything? Well, that's good. We have a fan, a random fan thing hooked up here. What? I'm missing like a, there's. Here's all our fans. Luckily, there's actually a fan place I can plug in right up here. I'm gonna plug this in. I don't know what that fan is supposed to be to though. Okay, I'm gonna found one cable I didn't plug in, so. Okay. Let's get rid of this one. Okay. Now we can finish that. Slowly. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we can start to control some of this stuff here. As best as we can. We're gonna find out what the where the cables will let me go to. Essentially where I'm at here. Go. Not gonna be able to go too crazy. This one is gonna go down here. We're gonna get this. This is all like super long power stuff. And again, what we're trying to do here is we're gonna get everything kind of into clumps in a and really what we're doing, guys, is like at this point in time is we're just trying to get everything kind of into as best we can into big, long groups of cables. And you want them to be taut, right? So they can be out of the way. And we'll kind of build underneath them. Yeah, there we go. 
I'm going to use these top cables to kind of clean these other ones up. Not this one, though. This one is for... go again I'm just trying to keep things cleaned up and tidy Now what I want to do is this thing right here. I know that this is going to be like kind of like a longer cable set. So that's going to be a 90 degree right there. I'm just going to tighten these up. And then that looks really clean all of a sudden. Getting through it, a little bit at a time. There we go. Got some twisted up cables down here. One thing I do have with the, one issue I do have with the Velcro is just like, sometimes they can get in the way, but easy fix. Okay, so there's our I'm gonna turn that one into a 90. That'll take care of that one. Okay, here we go. There we go. go now look how much cleaner that looks okay so this these little ones right here I'm just kind of like zip tie into like a 90 well I don't even think I need to because these will just get controlled by these okay so there we go then all I have to do is finish out the facade here There you go. Okay, now all I have to do is if I use these, kind of clear out the last vestiges of this. There we go. There 
go. There we go. And there you go. Now you have a clean looking, very clean looking build. And this will go ahead and just for what I might do is this HD audio cable is kind of one of those weird ones. It's like the weirdest cable. I might just go ahead and do this. I think we'll fix it. We'll do one right there. There you go. Okay. There you go. Cable managed. You remember what it looked like. And what it looks like now. I'm gonna undo these because we're not done with this side yet. To keep these loose. Okay, um, this is control box for the Lee and Lee. And it also has an RGB. Just remembered, so we're going to use this. Goes right here. No, this. Okay, there's our. We'll hook this all up here in a minute. Okay, next one. This is our. This. I wonder if this actually looks like this actually has a daisy chainable. Where was it? There it is. We could actually daisy chain this off of here. Everything will be controlled off of the same. I'm going to leave this loose until I hook all of the stuff up. There we go. This is power. There we go. Okay. Now that's all hooked up. We're not going to do anything else until we hook up the last thing, but there's the power for it. There's a power over here. All our power is ready to go. Okay, now let's go ahead and install our GPU. <clears throat> okay, GPU time. GPU time, GPU hype time, guys. Oh, by the way, we should be hitting hype train any second. Ugh. Okay, a lot of, I don't know if like the streamers or like the, you know, it's funny. It's like, I guess we'll see when we put it in. Getting our case prepped here. There we go. Let's grab our GPU now. Right here. We need this one. 
those things. Okay, and let's change the music. 319 to 450, guys. Music is on to another. We're going to start it over. There you go. Okay. Um, side camera. Okay. Time to open this up. Here we go. There it is. There it is. The beautiful 3080. Boom. for some reason who knows <clears throat> there we go okay let's go ahead take this off Take this off, put these inside the bag. Okay, now let's peel the rest of this bad boy. He's mad peeling. Lots of peel on this. There we go. Peel here. And then we have one more peel. on the GPU here. Boom, there you go, peeled and ready to go. Thick boy, ready to install. It's got a little bit of that bronze in it, which actually comes out really well. Table doesn't go down. Go to this one. Oh, hold on one sec, guys. Ugh. Go a little bit lower on this table. Well, that would help. I'm in the right spot there. Jeez. Trying to get this in. There we go. Wow, that was a hard, that was actually harder to get in than I expected. Ugh. Okay, cool. Now it's in.
Okay, cool. Now, get this screwed in. There we go. Okay, now we get to find out how the trimmer is going to work. We still have one more power cable we're going to be using. Oh man. Yeah, we'll have one more cable that's going to go over that, so it'll be as big of a deal. Okay, cool. Let's grab our strimmer and figure this out. This is the one part that could slow the whole thing down. Oh, they actually gave you a different connector. That's cool. That's nice. They actually gave you a separate box. Okay, so the question is, because this requires it to go the opposite direction. And I gotta figure out how to make that work just what EVGA does. Their power cables always the opposite direction. So I think I can just flip them over. Yep, looks like you can just flip them over. So this is what I'm talking about. See how the top of this, so I have to remove these and flip them over because of the EVGA. Because EVGA it goes like this, and you want them like this, and then to go down. But you have to remove them. I'm assuming you can. Slide, you slide the back piece on both ends, okay. Okay, so there's like a piece that you slide, I'm sure. Oh, that bottom part. There you go. Okay, good. Thank you. I see what you're talking about. Okay, so we slide this bottom piece down. Same thing here. And that allows me to separate these, okay. And now I gotta take these all off. There's that. <clears throat> Same thing on this side. And then we basically have to do all these. Okay, there's that. And then, oh, this comes off. Oh, you really got to take like the whole dang thing apart. Okay, now that's all done. Then you can take this off. There it goes. Okay. Do that. Okay, now I need it the opposite way, which something tells me this is not gonna be fun to put back on. This could be like the entire last half of this giveaway. I mean, the last half of this show is just literally flipping these cables around. But unlike the, at least with the XPG ones, like the XPG ones, they couldn't even flip around. Okay, so now that I do this, I'm gonna move this stuff and use a flat surface. To do this, okay. This goes, make sure I get it right. I don't wanna do this wrong and then 
have it wrong. Okay, so this goes like that, okay. Okay, here's the fun part, guys. We literally have to like redo this whole thing. And slowly, we do that. Now I'm 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 longing longing for the simpler days of Asia horse Asia horse cables. Okay, that should be Make sure this is right. Nope. Oh my God. Almost did it wrong, guys. After all that, I almost did it wrong. That would have been brutal. Okay, now it's right. There we go. Okay, at least I have that one right now. I think next time when I do this, you just say, I'm gonna be like, nope, sorry, if you want EVGA, these are not the, I'm not doing the strimmer. Now this may not be so bad, it actually goes in pretty easily. I guess it made it pretty intuitive to figure out how to get this stuff in. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me just verify one more time. That's actually right. Yes, right, there's a clip right there, okay. Okay, these are actually right. Okay, there's one. This will learn, one person will learn from this, or probably a few. But this is all in the name of RGB, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, we should actually be able to do the hype train. This the last hype train should be unlocked, guys. We want to get that started, kicking off that last hype train. Okay. Okay, there's that one. Last cable. Let's get it started. Come on, you guys, we can do it. Get that last giveaway. How many likes do we have on the YouTube channel? Because we can do all the we can do them all at the same time. There it is. Hype train, Jared goes. How high can we do it? We did a thousand percent at the beginning. We can do it, guys. Now remember, this is if you want to get, this is a great chance to get your entry in, if you want to get extra entries in for uh, the sub-only giveaway for the month of February, which is a 5800X and a 3080. So you can get your extra entries in here and potentially unlock another giveaway for folks, which is awesome. I sit here and thread needles. Last cable. 
believe it or not. Come on, guys. There we go. Bavista, thank you very much for the 10 subs. Boondoggle with a one sub. Thank you very much for that, man. Appreciate it. Cheered bits from a bunch of people right now. Level two complete. On our way towards level five already. Justin Cox, thank you very much for the thing. Watch Kelman, thank you very much for five gifted subs. Okay, let's lock this one in. And we can... This is gonna lock them down. Look at those five months. Naruto Gaming, 5150, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. All those bits, 369. Did I like, oh, I think it must, must be the other way. Yeah, it goes like this. Thank you very much for all those cheered bits, guys. 330%. Thank you very much for all of those subs, guys. 376 subs tonight. Thank you for the bits. Outrage with 10 bits. 45 bits from father of WPNX. Junester. Junester dropped gifted a, a sub to Huntley Boy. Kokunshi, Kokunshi boy, you it looks like or whatever it was. Thank you very much for that gifted sub. Just trying to get this stupid thing in. There we go. Okay, got one on. Okay, let's get this bottom side in. Now that I know how this works. Thank you for the thousand bits, Green 570. Hey guys, we almost have this whole thing back together now. Okay, now all we need. Okay, we almost got this whole thing back together. Thank you very much, Nikki Fliz, for the for the uh, the sub. Two minutes and thirty seven seconds left, guys. You guys are gonna you guys are hyping me all the way through the end of this thing. Can we get to look at that psycho? Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. You guys are gonna get me all the way through this 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 Lee and Lee streamer reinstall. We're gonna finish this. The cable's almost done. Yay! Look at that, we got it done. These aren't quite in. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Anders. Thank you very much for the one gifted sub. Uh, two months from the kingdom. Thank you very much for that, man. Appreciate that. Um, uh, let's see what else we got in there. 663%, one minute left to go, guys. Come on, let's see if we can finish out this hype. I got the, the, the cables ready to go in. We're super close to the end of this. Let's see what else we can do. Trons, for the follow. Don't forget, guys, if you want to get in on that, uh, all you got to do, if you want to get in on that 5,800 or 3,080, use your free Prime sub. Uh, there we go. Oh, and YouTube Gold Reach, and we've hit our second one, so we're going to do, we're going to start that giveaway right now. 
Let's see how we finish the such song support, it says. Dad joke, we'll do a dad joke, I promise. Um, 19 subs, 5,458 bits. Thank you very much for that, guys. Incredible. Okay, let's throw that over there. We'll do a dad joke, we'll do a giveaway. It's gonna be miraculous. Okay, let's do a dad joke. Before we do the giveaway, let's do the giveaway. Okay, so we're gonna have two giveaways here. I want everybody to say thank you, Twitch, and thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Twitch, and thank you, YouTube, because you guys are such incredible supporters. So that is going to be, because of you guys, we're able to unlock uh, two 250-gig NVMe SSDs. We're going to be giving away right now. That's what's about to happen. Uh, the entry, that's, the way this is going to work is we're basically going to give you a keyword. That keyword is going to be exclamation point community. You're going to enter that for two minutes. You don't need to spam it. You just need to enter once. You can try twice just to confirm. But if you spam, you can get timed out and then you could lose uh, your access. So uh, gonna start that giveaway in just a second. Entry point for this is exclamation point community. And then uh, our fine community manager, Miss Blondie is going to draw two winners. Okay, 250 gig NVMe starting now. Exclamation point community guys, here we go. Exclamation point community. Okay, let's get this back up. Get our get our thing put in. The final part of this whole thing. No, oh, I don't know if that's gonna. Ugh. This case is like not. I hope to gosh this doesn't like because it's not perfect. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is brutal. Get in there, geez, dude. There we go, finally. Get in there. Why is it not going in? There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. One more. There we go. Brutal. Might have to do... Oh. These are not going to... I might have to pull these. Yeah. All the awesomeness that is these cables, they're hard to work with. I have to pull all of this stuff all the way back. hoping to use the front thing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think I'm going to have to pull the cables from the in here and have them connect this way. Oh, sorry. You guys can't see. Okay. First winner was, uh, first winner was Zeris, Z-R-Y-S-S from uh, Twitch. And then Ghost Sign from Twitch, Ghost Sai from Twitch as well. These are like, these are not going to work in this case. These cables are so long.
these cables are so long, like it's gonna have to like go, I guess, I mean, yeah, that's not gonna work. I guess, yeah, I mean, hmm. I guess what I could do is do this. And the cables are gonna have to come up from the side there. I don't know if this is gonna be, might be able to do it like that. There we go, that'll work. Yeah, you're gonna have to like twist them. Yeah, even that isn't quite enough. These cables are really long. Even then, like they're still not. Wow, these are like brutally long cables. We're gonna have to like do it like sideways, like really far down like that, and then have them come up from the side. Okay, I mean, it'll still look cool. It's just, you're gonna have, I've never used these in this case. And so these are really long cables. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get power in and go from there. Ugh. I gotta figure out how to get these to be connected too. Brutal, okay. We're close, but not, not confident yet. Oh, wait, no. This requires a separate box too, holy crud. This requires a separate box for the three pin. Wow, that is brutal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe not. This might, okay, okay, no, no. Just you have to use this one if you're using the three pin. Okay, so I can replace the box here. And this will, will this let me no that one this will let me daisy chain does this actually have a okay this is a uh, this is like a challenge okay this is the motherboard There we go. Okay, there's the motherboard. So that's all hooked up. This requires a, this is the power. That's the same, but this is the, I'm hoping that I can daisy chain this into this, but I gotta see if, let me use some, I hope I can pull this out. It might not be, I gotta see. This, is this, I'm, I'm wondering if this is built in or no. Nope, okay. So, this needs, this one I can't, this is gonna control everything, but I need to hook this up to a separate, separate cable here. Oh, wait a minute, oh, oh wait, no, no, I won't. Okay, cool, I'll use this one. I can daisy chain it with this one. Okay. You just kind of change the whole game on you here. There we go. Okay, this is now hooked up.
Wow. Not learning a lot about these particular fan cables. There we go. And I still have to figure out how to hook up these power. That is not, I'm not even through that. I'm not fully hooked up yet. Or we're to like a big thing. Kind of like a big crossroads here in the build as we're figuring out the last parts of this. Little bit here. I still have to, like I said, we still have to hook up the three strimmers somehow. I don't know if that's going to work yet. Put this in here. Also not going to go down. Okay, so there's our power. That'll stay now. We still need to do the hardest part now, which is figuring out how to get our freaking power in here. Let's grab our power. Everybody say PSU time, because it really is PSU time. Ugh. Okay, side cam. PSU time, guys. Finishing this build out. It's a brutal yo. Figuring it out live. The strimmers are kind of a giant pain in the butt. Okay, so here's our, K our PSU. Need our screws. Okay, now what do we need out of here? We need CPU, you actually have to run because we don't have other extensions. We need CPU, we need a single, you know, might as well just run both since we actually can. We'll run both CPUs, there's our CPUs. We need our PSU, and then we need VGA. Only we'll two of these. There we go. There's our power for him. And then we need a single SATA connection. There we go. Okay, so there's everything we need for this. The rest of this gets put away. There we go. Okay. Now for the sniff test, 850 watt. I don't mind these ones. I think these ones are usually my ones I like to smell the most. Ready? Mmm, it smells like chemicals. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Chemicals. Okay, there we go. Let's get our let's get our 
connect our cables hooked up that we need. So we got two VGA. There's VGA one. There's VGA two. Okay, we have one SATA or perif. We're gonna plug in a SATA right there. That's for our it's for our kind of extensions and stuff like that. We're gonna grab these. CPU one and CPU two. Because we don't have any other cable extensions. And then we got our motherboard. And there we go. Now we have all of the cables we need to plug this in. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna Okay, we're good there. We're gonna turn this over like this. This is where we're gonna hook up our PSU and get it plugged in. Quickly, uh, using the wow stick, getting it all. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Mother, the power supply is ready to go into its hole, into its home forever. Take one of these. Help with the guidance a little bit. There we go. Shove all that stuff in there. Okay, now all our power is in. Now we just gotta figure out how to hook all this crap up. Which is not going to be as simple as it usually is because we have these super thick cables like this one, which I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this way. I might be able to do it. Looks like I can do it that way. I pull it in and I might have to... This seems okay. There we go. Okay, well, that's that was one solved. That was an important one. Nope. No, nope, that'll close. That's not gonna. That's not very good for that cable, though. not want that to bend that far. Or if that's going to have to go. There we go. That might work. That might be better. Yeah. Just make that go a little bit lower. The problem is I still have these freaking three of these three freaking uh these things to figure out and I'm hoping I don't know how this is gonna work guys frankly <clears throat> okay well this let's do this all the stuff I can right now well, that might not this might just have to get loosened Run 
run these down here. go one more CPU I'm working on right now is just running the CPU cables. Go. Hook those up. And then we got to figure out how to hook these up. I don't know what we're going to do here. I'm going to shove them in here for now and see if we can figure it out. And look at the other side. The only thing I'm going to be able to figure out for now. Sometimes the pain you go through for RGB, you know? Where are the other one of these? A lot of RGB for this one. Is this is stuck on. Is there just cable in between this? No, that's why. Crud. <laughs> this thing is like stuck in like how this happened, who knows, but it did. Okay. Okay, there's that one. Getting our PSU cable plugged in. I mean our EPS CPU power cable plugged in. Man, I'm gonna feel good when this one's on. Just have power. Okay, that is done now. Now we just gotta figure out how to get that freaking GPU plugged in. I was hoping you could run it through the bottom, but you can't. The little space in the bottom. There you go, okay, those are all in now. Okay, so those are in. That's good. We're so close to this build being done, but there's some not there's some gnarly stuff to kind of figure out here to make this work. 
Now, guys, one thing I do want to remind you is we are going to raid somebody at the end. Blondie's probably looking for a raid target right now because this is actually getting pretty close to being done. Just got to figure out one more cable here, and that is this nightmare. And this is our VGA situation here. There we go. So I'm gonna hook these up and hopefully we'll have some place to plug them. I don't know what this is gonna look like, guys. I could, ooh, I think I figured out what I'm gonna do. I think I figured out what I'm gonna do. I think I figured out what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna run them through the bottom. I'm gonna run it through, I'm gonna run them down here. This should be okay. One thing I need to do though is unplug this. Okay, I think I figured it out. It's gonna be kind of weird, but I don't know any other way to do it, to be honest. Okay, this, I think these are just gonna have to go down like this. Okay, I think I figured it out what I want to do here. Brutal as this may be, it is what we're gonna have to do. Okay, so it's gonna have to go like junk in the trunk style essentially. And then the, this is going to go up here. And then we can run the last bit of this. Okay, so that's how it's going to have to work. Okay, at least we got it figured out. Okay, put this back in top down, finish this out. We got it figured out. I think it'll look okay too. Okay, going back to top down. You guys will see how I ran it. What the heck is, what is this? Okay, so what we had to do is we had to run it down here. And then you're gonna have to make sure, like there's no other way to do this. It's just gonna, it's just gonna have to run down here. And then we're gonna run this. Here. Let's figure that out. Okay. No, oh, not over here. That says I got in there. Almost done. Definitely one of the most challenging builds I've done in a while, just because of figuring out the... Okay, sure, probably... That's gonna have to just go down. I might be able to... Okay, now that's done. Let's grab this and our, this is our SATA. Plug these in real quick.
There we go. Okay. There we go. I'm going to use this here in a minute to I'm gonna cable manage these, but right now I need to get this power into this thing. Okay. And the hope is, is that with this cable managing, it'll keep these cables bent. And then from bending, and then we can keep them from getting into the fan, which is what I don't want to have happen. Okay, last cable. Gosh, cable's just at a weird angle. Let me use this other one. I have to, it just needs more room. There we go. Whoa, it came undone. You're not supposed to come undone, cable. Okay, la well, what I thought was the last cable now became the second to last cable because that cable came undone. Okay, they're all in. Okay, there it is. Build is done, actually. Not really kind of a tough, that was really kind of a tough build. What I thought was gonna be pretty straightforward, the strimmers created a ton of complications for, but we have it all done now. Okay, guys, build is done. Not a whole lot of cable managing I can do down there, just with this. This should, I might, I might try try this and just get at least this stuff clumped together main reason being is that i just want to make sure that this lee and lee thing is pulled and stays out of the fan over here which is what i'm trying to do okay there we go okay there we go. Okay, let's take a look at the front. There's a couple things I gotta I fix. Yeah, this right here. Here we go. Okay, there you go. Build is done. Wish there was some stuff. I mean, the back will cover a lot of this, but yeah, the build is done. It's hooked up. It's gonna have a lot of motion there. We'll do this to kind of give it some groom room, but yeah, it all fits now. Okay, we're in. 
Okay, let's uh, put all this stuff away and get ready to turn it on. We still got the build done in a, in a relatively fast amount of time, actually, given what I got, what what little trouble I had with that strip, with the strimmer. Oh, 450, geez. Well, I'll throw the next thing while we're waiting for the boot up. All widgets. Now it's time for really good prizes. I don't know if we'll be able to get them, but I'll put it up here. Okay, next goal is up, guys. Okay. See if we can get it. 5900X, those are coveted and hard to get a hold of, so there we go. Okay. Wow stick is done. This is done. There we go, guys. Here we go. Test. Ugh. Here it is. The build is in. I'm like, I'm impressed with how well the cable management in the back stayed together too, right? Like in, after all that. Okay. Putting our case back together now. The back went on no problem. Always a good sign. There is our build. Moment of truth coming up. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Whoa, did I, oh wait, okay, hold on. There it is. Look at that. There it is. Look at that craziness. We can play with the lot. Let's, uh, let's, uh, hold on one sec. I'm trying to remember mode. Okay. Speed. go go mode they have like I wish there was a L
I know there's a way to do color. There we go. There we go. I think the pink looks pretty good. Actually, I like the blue. There we go. There we go. Now let's go to... There we go. Let's change. Ooh. There we go. Now it's RGB crazy. All the fans are spinning. Vegas is like, I'm gonna need the, these, these cables are a pain in the butt. Oh, it'd help if I put it the right way. There you go, guys. There's RGB puke everywhere. Fans are in everywhere. You can see that right there. There's a fan spinning everywhere. The bill does post as well. Check it out. Here we go. There's the bill posting. Hopefully you'll see that here in just a second. It seems to always struggle with showing you guys the capture. Oh, there it is. There's the bill posting right there, ready to go. Needs more RGB. There you go. Um, let me turn the lights down so you guys can see it a little bit better. And then we'll do our giveaways. What am I looking for? Uh, here we go. Let's bring up some, we'll bring up some, turn the lights down so you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'll do the side camera so you guys can see it there too. Um, there you go. There's some, there's some darker. Bring it over here. <clears throat> then we'll do the giveaway so you guys can take a look, but there you go, there's some, here's the side view. How's that? Yeah, the pretty ram is kind of hidden. That's something like what I mean. What we could do, there's not a whole lot you can do, um, because the thing is, is like it's either you block the ram or you block the other side. Like there's some stuff that I could probably play around with here. What I could do is I could I probably the right thing would have been to, and I could do this. I could still do this. Is bring the here. Why don't we do this? Let me try this on. Turn this off. This off. Hold on one sec, guys. What if I did this? Let's see what you guys think here. Where's my? There it is. Okay. I did this. There we go. I think it'll work. What about this, guys? I gotta not find the. There it is. What about that?
Hero of you and good, yeah, my good side. That looks good. That looks really good. It came out really clean. That looks nice. Okay, now you guys are ready. Let's do the first one, uh, the first giveaway for tonight, uh, and then we'll go to the second one. But uh, first one is going to be uh, everybody say thank you, Shop Tagger, because Shop Tagger was a huge supporter of the show here today. They're the ones who made the 5600X, so we could give that away. Um, so thank you to Shop Tagger. Now, don't forget, yet yeah, needs a sag. It's actually not sagging. I can look. I don't think it's sagging. But these cables could be. No, it's not sagging. The one thing I like about this particular, I could probably bring these up a little bit and they'd probably help. Um, but uh, thank you to Shop Tagger for doing this. This is for the 5600X. Now a reminder, if you win this, if you win this, we're gonna run the second giveaway. Bonnie needs to confirm, you need to make sure that you show that you have the Shop Tagger app installed and a picture of your list to be eligible to get the 5600X, okay? So uh, the X, uh, you show the command, if you wanna win the 5600X, that's what you have to do to basically to be eligible to win. Okay, and Blondie's gonna verify that. If not, we're gonna have to not, we're gonna have to forfeit that win. So you don't, make sure you download it. There's gonna be links to Shop Tagger showing up right now, um, and you go from there. So uh, entry point for this is gonna be exclamation point Shop Tagger. I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes for this, uh, and then we'll go to the last giveaway, which is a 5800X. Giveaways. Okay, so ent entry for this is gonna be exclamation point shop tagger. Make sure you download the thing. Okay, starting this giveaway right now, exclamation point shop tagger, S exclamation point shop tagger. And then we're gonna be, don't forget guys, I know we're, we're going right now, but don't forget we are gonna hope, we are gonna wanna raid somebody, make somebody's Friday night. We have a thousand people in Twitch right now, 658 over on YouTube. I mean, we're sitting at, you know, what is it? 1700 people right now. Let's make somebody else's day and really make a stream special for them. So uh, Joe, just please stick around when we're done and uh, just at least hang out, drop them a follow, just make somebody's day a little bit brighter. Okay, so two minutes on this giveaway. Two minutes left, guys. Drink some water. Wow, that build was a that build was a build was a challenge. Now we'll make it look all gold and yellow is the hope. So it'll all be gold and yellow when it's all said and done. Right now it's rainbow puke, but the hope is to make it all gold and yellow. 465 subs. If we want to get those last, you guys want to try and unlock that 5900X. Just remember, February sub giveaway for the month of February is a 3080 and a 5800X. So uh, drop, if you're over at youtube.com slash robytech or twitch.tv slash robytech, come on over to YouTube or twitch.tv slash newing. Come over to twitch.tv slash robytech. Drop your free Prime sub and you may walk away with a free with a free GPU and a free CPU, which are the two hardest things to get. So, uh, and remember you do get extra entries if you donate subs or if you subscribe to tier two or tier three, right? And we may actually end up unlocking a 5900X to give away depending on how well you do it. So let's get it done, guys. And so we still going in like that. We still have a minute left for the 5600X giveaway. And just remember, you're gonna have to show as part of the winning. Oh, Mike from Newegg. Okay, we're gonna do Mike from Newegg. So you're gonna want to do uh, your, when we do this. You're gonna want to uh, you're gonna want to uh, uh, make sure that you download Shop Tagger. So even if like you win and you haven't yet, just make sure you do. Ton of subs today. There were 465. That's so many subs. Uh, you just go to Chrome, search in the Chrome store for Shop Tagger. You'll get a. We'll have a link. We'll have links and stuff like that showing up here in a second. We'll we'll go give you guys a couple links. We're not trying to not let you have the win. There he is. Okay, winner is being picked in 30 seconds. <laughs> you wanna install the, ex the extension and then uh, make sure when you install the extension, you just wanna basically put a couple things on the list and then when you verify with Blondie, she just needs to see that you've done that.
Okay, the raffle's ended, guys. Oh, go smoke us. Well, welcome. Thank you for thank you for subbing. Sixty-five thousand, almost sixty-six thousand followers today. Congratulations to Fighter Jet Eleven. Fighter Jet Eleven on Twitch. You are the winner of the fifty-six hundred X. Make sure that you have that shop tagger verification. Uh, in order to claim the prize, you're gonna have to show that uh, to Blondie, and she'll reach out to you and all that sort of stuff. Sh uh, Fighter Jet Eleven. Okay, guys, time for the the big the uh, second big giveaway. And everybody say thank you, New Egg. Thank you, New Egg. Because New Egg is obviously the prime sponsor for our show. So thank you to New Egg. Everybody say thank you, New Egg. This is for a Ryzen 7 5800X. Everybody said everybody say thank you, New Egg. This is for a Ryzen 7 5800X. Okay, entry for this is going to be exclamation point new egg now. Exclamation point new egg now. We got three minutes. Now, don't forget, subs, you do get extra giveaway entries. Okay, you got two minutes. Exclamation point new egg now. Go ahead and get this going, guys. Two minutes. Two minutes. Then we're going to get ready to, uh, we're going to be, we're going to be uh, raiding Mike from new egg, which is going to be awesome. We got this. Amazing build over here. We'll turn it so you guys can see it in the wide shot. I'm trying to think of like what's the best view for it. Get you guys in the wide shot there. There's our build right there. Looks super, super good. I think a little bit less. I liked it a little bit more like that. There you go. Oh, let's turn our N7 build on. It's gonna be a fun, that was a fun and challenging build at the same time. That was brutal. Reports of that was brutal. If I ever had to do that again in a P500, I'd know how to do it though. But this, uh, you know, there, there's my usual tricks and there was some, there's definitely some learning on getting that, getting that set up for sure. I think I'm gonna wanna actually do this. Not. There we go. All the extra stuff for the build. I'm hungry. I don't know if you guys, has anybody had the McDonald's spicy nuggets? I've become like a big fan of the McDonald's spicy nuggets. Okay, 15 seconds left, guys. Congratulations to all the winners today. All the winners. Lots of winners today, which is awesome. Three winners today, actually. Okay, congratulations to Woo, uh, Woo Ghost TV. Woo Ghost TV, you are the winner of the, you are the winner of the, uh, the giveaway. So yeah, you are the winner of the uh, 5800X. Now guys, we are back tomorrow. We have more giveaways, more giveaways, but more than anything, we have the Valentine's Day build. Here, I'll give you guys here, you guys wanna see a, a preview of the build. Here's a preview of the build. Um, here in just a second, let me bring it up. I'll bring you guys, show you guys a preview. Uh, ooh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's a very big, yeah, let's not do that. That was weird. That's a really big, that's not a preview of the build. Uh, so he, this is the build for tomorrow. We're doing this at, this is at, uh, this is basically at, um, where is it, where is it? This is at 11 a.m. tomorrow, the Valentine's Day build. There you go. There it is. That's the build for tomorrow. Roby Tech Love. In a, uh, this is going to be in, again, we're using streamers again. Uh, this is going to be in the uh, Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic Mini. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be building this tomorrow. We're gonna, we have a custom logo for the, uh, for the uh, AIO and everything. So it should be, so it should be super cool. Really cool white and pink build uh, to celebrate Valentine. So that's setting tomorrow. 
What about the monthly? Uh, so it's going to be at 11 a.m. PST. Uh, we announced the monthly winner. The monthly winner for the month of January was, and I will say his name again. Uh, the monthly winner for this was SK1PPXX. SK1PPXX was the G uh, January sub winner. Okay, guys, we're gonna we're, we are going to be uh, host. We're going to be raiding Mike. Please stick around, st help him with a follow, all that sort of stuff. Let's just make somebody else's day that much more awesome. So just stand by. We're gonna do that raid. Thank you again, everybody, for being incredible for all the subs and everything else. Here we go, raiding Mike. Oh, great. What is his? It's D. What is it? D and D something? I don't know what it is. I don't see it on here. Uh, uh, Blondie, can you text me the name of the channel? I, I don't have the name of the channel. Uh, let me see if I can. Let me see if I'm following it. Hold on one sec, guys. I thought it was. Is he actually is he actually streaming? I don't see him streaming. Oh, Arcane Focus D and D. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're gonna do Arcane. There we go, guys. Gonna raid his channel. Starting that raid right now, guys. How many people can we get? Three hundred, four. Come on, let's get let's get five or six hundred. There we go. Five hundred, six hundred. There we go. Starting that raid now. Thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you later. Bye.